What's up guys, how's it going? It's your buddy Mitch here in the life of Mitch. Today we've got the segment called Sit Downs with Mitch. You guys may have heard of it before and I posted it here on Instagram and I'm gonna post this on YouTube as well. Make sure you go to my YouTube channel, channel and subscribe, okay? I just started the channel and I'm looking to get the followers and subscribers so make sure you go there. Um, like I said, welcome to Sit Downs with Mitch where I sit down and I answer questions, talk, talk about topics, trends, the weather, who the fuck knows. So, um, as you see, I got kind of my first guest. You can introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, Rowan. I'm Rose. Nice to see you. Um, what else I really I guess, say? okay, all right. <laughs> I'm Rose. That's all you gotta say. All right. So, sit down with Mitch in the past um, was me talking uh, to the camera, but it was just me. Now I'm gonna incorporate guests and see how it goes. Ooh. Okay, so quick intro. My name is Mitch. You guys know me. This is my friend Rosanna Scalzo. I don't know if I should say your full name. Is that cool? It's cool. Okay, <laughs> you can uh, I'll put a link below. R Scalzo. Is that your Instagram? Oh, yeah. R and then S C A L Z O. Okay, there you go. That's how you spell it. All I think right. There's an underscore. I think I don't know. That's why. <laughs> I was actually I was, I was actually gonna look myself. Don't worry. We'll, we'll take a look. J buys so underscore. It. Okay. Is it R? Oh, yeah, there's an underscore at the okay. end, guys. R S C A L Z O underscore. Okay, now that we're uh, nice, we've got all the plugging done. Um, I don't know yeah. each other. So, you're, how's your day been going? Good, good. Busy. Yeah? Good? Mm -hmm. It's nice. I just yeah. literally cleaned my studio today and put laundry away all day. So oh, that's, that's I did laundry too. Never ending. Yeah, it's never, never ending. ending. You know? It's never ending. Endless. Comment below, guys, uh, if you like doing laundry or if you don't, okay? Hate it. Doesn't yeah. end. I hate it too. It's it's putting it away, folding it, putting it away is what takes so long. It's fucking annoying, you know? I like putting them away. I just don't yeah, like, like having to wait two hours, three hours to wash and dry and just. Yeah, I know. That's why it's I wait two process. weeks and then I have no clothes and then I gotta wash them all. <laughs> wash a fuckload and then I'm fucked. That's why it takes so long. Some I people know. do it like very often, like, yeah. I don't know, two times a week. Once a week is normal, but some people do it like yeah. more often. So comment if you guys do it often or not, and if you like it or not. Okay, so um, we got some topics here to talk about, you know. Fucking people have no respect. I'm filming, buddy, okay? One sec, let's see, let's bring this fucking idiot to the lot. <laughs> yeah, buddy, right now, I'm, in, I'm in a... Okay, okay, no, no, fuck, fuck that. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I can't say it, they're gonna know. It doesn't matter, don't worry, we're, fil we're, we're filming, okay? Okay, so now that we're back, I have to cut it off because someone FaceTimed me and I gotta fucking put my phone on silent. Done. Yes, it was, yeah, that yeah. and Hobie. Okay, so, guys, we're gonna talk about, since it's Christmas and... New Year's. Coming up. <laughs> I, <was thinking> <laughs> I know, I, I, never, I, never, I never told her that, yeah, my bad. But yeah, good chemistry there, bud. Okay, so look, we're drinking White Claws. It's not a sponsorship, but hopefully one day in the future, they're probably gonna sponsor me because I'm gonna be smashing them back. Cause you already don't smash yeah, them back. Yeah, exactly, I'm fucking. For your information, guys, I, I fast. I intermittent fast every day, and it's already six. We it's get pretty it. bad. We got it. <laughs> we got it, I'm a faster. Yeah, it's pretty bad. What else is that? And uh, fuck. Um, <laughs> I just ate a banana before this, just to put something in my stomach because this will probably get me twisted. Anyways. Can okay, say so. Something so wrong? Yeah, so Christmas and New Year's is around the corner. Literally, Christmas is Friday, and I can't fucking believe it. Yeah, literally so three days. So we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about Christmas. We're gonna touch upon like you know dating during the holidays. We're gonna be talking about you know the hype behind the New Year's kiss. And I'll tell you a little story about my New Year's kiss fucking several years ago. Um, you know, the expectations of uh, New Year's and the whole height. Cross, Christmas, you know, Christmas. <laughs> He's a cross out. Because we're in lockdown now. So we're pretty much. Uh, is that what you say? What? Okay. Oh, x is that what you said? No. What did you say? Cross eyed. Oh, cross eyed Christmas or on cross eyed? <laughs> no, in general. <laughs> oh, well. In it's general. Really Christmas. Oh yeah, it's a cross 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 Christmas. So when you get Merry Chrysler, everyone. <laughs> yeah, for real. Okay, so if without any more, blah, 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 blah. well, I guess we'll start with Christmas first. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. Christmas, guys. Let's talk about it. Shopping. Shopping. Okay. So. Okay. Share me your. Blah, blah, blah. Tell me Christmas shopping. I Go. I still have about 
two things I need to pick up for Christmas for gifts. Oh, no. I'm usually not a a last minute shopper, but this year for some reason you just think you have so much time and tomorrow, tomorrow, it turns out every other day something is locked down and Yeah, it's bad. And uh, ordering online is just you don't know if you're going to get it in time, if you're going to get the right thing and I'm not an online shopper. I like to be in person and seeing what I'm buying and yeah. typical old school wait in line to pay for it. And yeah, exactly. But um. Well, that's yeah. how you should do. That's how you should do it. You know, we're only fucking fucked because it's uh, COVID shit, right? Or else we would be. Fucking... I love Christmas shopping. I, I, and I, I love like it too. To go out and like yeah, kind of buy it for everybody. Excitement. Yeah, go yeah. here, go there. I don't like the stress that it brings. So it's like. Did I forget anyone, or is this good enough, or is that not good enough? And Ugh. yeah, no, well, it's true. Like that's. I can't give everyone myself, cause then. Yeah. That'd be then, the you, best then you'll gift, be divided but... by like sixteen, <laughs> in sixteen little packages. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so like I don't know, me, I love going and shopping. I love going to the malls, the stores, the outlets, whatever the fuck the case mm -hmm. may be. But to be honest, I uh, I used to get my stuff done earlier. To believe it or not. But you know, like, I say, so right now this is the week of Christmas. I usually shop the first week of December, last week of November, just to make sure I got the, the bulk of my shit done and then do my last minute stuff, then maybe I'll do the week before or, so, or, or something. But usually stores, actually, because I used to, I work in retail like my entire life and I'm, mm -hmm. whatever. They, they only put those sales like a week or two before Christmas. So shopping early sometimes doesn't save yeah. you the money from last minute shopping, you know, compared to last minute shopping. But now I hate online shopping, I hate it because, at least for myself, if something comes, oh, I'm a large shirt, but it comes in size small, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, you I have like- to wait another week Yeah, that's why I like trying shit on. Yeah, so in that sense, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that that's why I shop in store, but what? now I'm shopping low, now I'm shopping online, it's because of COVID. So like Amazon, I went ham. You know, I just literally bought like a couple of my nieces and nephews some some toys and shit, some stuff on Amazon. But other than that, I did not do any Christmas shopping. Yeah. If anything, I'll just get my parents like a fucking spa. Shh, they're, they're not here. They're they're not there. Well, you know what's also good about this shopping online is um. What? Tell have us, you bro. Ever, have you ever come across like asshole shoppers during this time? Yeah, like, my people, mom's probably one of them. People <laughs> snaps. <laughs> Like people cutting people. line or like fighting for certain things. Yeah, that's my mom for sure. Parking spots. I got into almost like a fist fight with someone over a parking spot. And like that's my bad. friend went to go out of the parking spot and like Buddy almost hit her with the car because he was trying to go in there. Security came. What the fuck? It was, it was so bad. I can't, can't say. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, it was just so extra and I just got so upset. Honestly, the season sometimes brings out the worst and best in some people. And That's for sure. What are you going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? Okay, so the next topic. Okay, we kind of hit Christmas, uh, you know. Okay, so uh, expect the expectations, guys, listen. What I expect this Christmas is bullshit because, bah, excuse me, sorry. Uh, it's honestly like, like this Christmas, no, this lockdown shit tore, tore family apart, tore, tears friends apart, tears relationships apart, tears yeah, the fucking just... world apart, to, tear, tore everything apart. So this Christmas is probably gonna be one of the worst, but you know, it is what it is, you gotta make the best of it, okay? So some, is gonna, some people are gonna disagree with me on that, that's fine. Um, some people will agree with me on that, and that's also fine. But my expectations is for it to be below um, the norm or below what, the usual Christmas for me is yeah. 100% and it sucks, you know? How about you? Christmas Eve is usually a big thing in my household, but How's it unfortunately looking? we're uh, limiting it to whatever the amount of people uh, we're allowed to have. Yeah. Nah, fuck that. If it goes over, YOLO. Yeah. I just squirted from my tongue everywhere. I gleeked. That's what's called when you squirt from under your tongue. It's called gleeking. Go to Google it, you like fucks. You talk? No, like... I don't know, fucking Nico can do it on demand, that fucking weirdo. But that's true, go Google it. But it's true, like honestly Christmas is kind of shot. Well, good thing for the kids that are, might be watching, you shouldn't be watching this because I'm swearing every third word. <laughs> so uh, is <laughs> at least Santa is still working, you know? Santa's still going. You know, still like uh, bringing us gifts even though, you know? Yeah, Santa you have to wear doesn't a mask. listen to COVID, so. COVID listens to Santa. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. 
Okay, so that's our Christmas. Okay, so it's just gonna be me, and my parents, probably me, and my parents, and maybe my my sisters. But I don't know. Even that, so I can have shot in the dark. So next, okay, I want to talk about New Year's. What are what are your new no, no, What are your new what like what you know what? I'm gonna chill. I just gotta. Oh, you don't, don't ask you. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Um, honestly, I'm talking too quick, so I'm just gonna slow down. Significant. Oh, okay. Hi, who are you? I'm back. Welcome to Channel Nine News. Um, so we, I skipped a, uh, a, a notch on my belt, so my my pants are a little loose. Not kidding. So we're gonna talk about Christmas while having uh, like a significant other or slash dating. Okay. You comment below if you like it or not. I want, you want to go first? Well, like what? Like, uh... Dating during the holidays, pretty much. Yeah, have you, has anyone ever started dating during the holidays? Or you met someone in the holidays and like, what do you do? Do you... Christmas comes around and like, do you buy yeah. them a gift? Do you not buy them well, a gift? Well, what's dating to you, right? So dating could be like actual going, relationship or just slamming? Well, like, you know, going out for skating, coffee. And oh, that's not dating. Then. Date, like eating. Also, oh, just getting like, to know each other. Okay, so that's what, see, that's like what I'm saying. Building, dating is uh, what's what's it called? What do you call that before yeah. you start dating? You're going out on dates with people. You're dating. You can date a bunch of people at once. That's so true. That's you're so you're true. on dates with people, so you're dating. Are you dating? Dating everyone. You can date you, date you, date you. Yeah. Everyone. Really. To date me. Yeah, for <laughs> real, that's kidding. true. That's true. Okay, so in that case, if I'm like seeing people, which is normal when you're single, um, definitely not buying them a gift. But if I'm dating someone, like a girlfriend, um, so I definitely dating, buy them a gift. So your dating definition is like boyfriend, girlfriend. Yeah, for me, that is exactly what dating is. Oh, we're dating. How long have you been dating for? It's three years. How long have you, you know? been together for? I know. So that's what I'm saying. Thanks. So comment below, guys, what the definition of dating is for you. And we'll talk about that in the next episode because mm -hmm. I want to know because dating has so many definitions. For me, it's you're dating, you're going out, you are exclusive, you are in a relationship. But then what do you what say? It what do you, it's me is dating it's like that? you're you're going out on dates with people. Yeah, I, I know. I feel you. I feel are you are you dating anyone? Well, a few well, people. Fucking you know, we're like. Yeah. You know, how do you get very, to becoming uh, to to being? Boyfriend and girlfriends. It's a good. It's a very good uh, thing yeah. to ask. Okay. Don't well, save your money. Don't get no one but yourself a gift. How about that? For real. <laughs> um, okay. So yeah. on the next uh, kind of question to segue off of that, um, I only get a person a gift if I am in a relationship. Obviously, mm -hmm. that makes fucking total sense. Mm -hmm. And some some girlfriends I snapped on. Some girlfriends, you know, we just get each other like a gift or two. But <clears throat> usually, you know, you get something nice. You know, in the 150 to 300 dollar range. I okay, well, it that. doesn't matter. <laughs> that does not matter. You can't. It doesn't. A price on love. You can't. You can. Put because you can buy her the nicest Gucci belt or Louboutins or Chanel bag and this and that, and then, and then the same night you're ramming her best friend. So who knows? Okay, doesn't matter. There's no. <laughs> There's no. <laughs> No. Lots of fucking fucker. Price on love. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or she's getting gifts the exact same from her list from someone else too, right? So mm -hmm. it's pretty bad. People are fucked. Okay, so um, that's that. Uh, we're not going to talk about gift buying because you, you, we, mm -hmm. we want to put a price on relationships here. Um, okay, the next. Um, buy each other gifts. We said that. How long do you wait for? We're not going to talk about that because we just kind of we kind of hit on that in the beginning of the mm -hmm. conversation. Mm -hmm. um, bring family around. Bring around family. Okay, so yeah, guys, how long does it take you to bring your significant other from your relationship that you are freshly dating? How long does that first initi initiation or init that first initial encounter. debut, there you go, the first initial encounter happen? Okay, so with my ex, it took about I think four to six months, and then the, the ex before that was six months. And then the ex before that, I think, was also like six to eight months. For me, honestly, when I bring a girl home, it's it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? I don't just bring any girl home. As a lot of you know, you know, yeah, whatever. I'm a, I'm a sly little guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little spy in the sky. You know, I'm that little spy in your eye. You know, I'm that guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like, I don't just yeah, bring because they're also high. I'd be bringing thousands of girls home, and people, my parents would be snapping. So. And yes, I do live at home. That's the fucking big case. But oh. soon I'll be uh, having my own place. Okay. That might change a lot. You know, the bed might be moving. You're so. <laughs> 
I'll say for me, six months, it takes me six months to bring a girl home and I gotta make sure she's the right one, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, like like what you like to say, I see girls. Like if I really like a girl, I'll, I'll stay like exclusive to her, at least to like a 90% scale. And then after the three months, I take things serious, but that's not the question. We're, we're just gonna skip what I just said. Anyways, it takes me six months to bring a, a girl home. How about you? How long did it take you to bring a girl home? Honestly. <laughs> God, the day that happens, but it's okay. No, yeah, it's okay. No, it is what it's it is. totally okay. Um, I don't know. I can't really put like a the time frame on it. I just yeah. I every need to guy, make sure. every guy's been different, I guess, depending on how much I thought we clicked that I wanted him to come around my family or I didn't. So yeah, you know, you don't want to rush things too soon and then like come yeah, around family the and then doesn't work out and then everyone's like, oh, we're so and so or. You know, so yeah, or you yeah. bring them around family, and then they turned out to be fucking crazy, and you realize that it's embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. you know, so that's it's the thing tricky. with me. It's tricky. Like, uh, but people they're... don't show their true colors till fucking years fucking, after. Yeah, yeah. So who you really, you really don't know. It's bad. Yeah, especially anyone. if they they use you know while well, they're not. Never mind. I'm not gonna say that because uh, yeah. So um, another thing, yeah, like for me, like back to that subject. Sorry, like. I say six months because I really want to like click with that person. Like I click with everybody. Okay, I'm a fucking outgoing, funny, wonderful, sweet, loving guy. So like that's not the problem for me helping others or loving others and making them feel great. It's about how that person makes me feel. So, yeah. And sometimes that makes it, it takes me time, you know. And just like you said, like I want to bring someone home that's like fucking like I don't give a fuck like what my parents think, regardless. Because if I love her, then I love her, and that's it. You know, like it or not, eat my dick. I love my parents, don't get me wrong, they're the best parents in the world. But that's how it is. Like, I don't know, I just wanna make sure like, I make the right choice, you know, for me. And once I click in that fucking, you know, boom, okay, this is 100%, now I want that, like, I want this beautiful person that I, I care about to meet my, my family. Mm -hmm. It's more about me, you know? It's not about really my family or what they think. But when my, my parents come and say, they're like, oh, how long have you been with fucking Susan? They're gonna say, uh, like, and I say, oh yeah, a week. They're gonna say, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's you know a joke. Saying? So it's also, that that's another reason, you know, I'm not gonna rush things, yeah. you know, like you said earlier. But anyways, we'll move on. Um, we'll talk about New Year's, guys. What are your plans for New Year's? Comment below. Are you having a full-blown fucking rager? Let me know, I'll come. No, okay. <laughs> Um, or are you not? Are you gonna sit by yourself in the room with a TV and pop champagne and break your fucking light fixture? Who knows? Um, what are your plans? You said not to ask you? Don't have any so far yet. Okay, technically neither do I, but uh, I, I plan on having a little get together, you know? Are we allowed? No, we're not, but is the question. what the fuck are they gonna do, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, we're so right just now, trying to live our best lives. So right now, for me guys, I'm single, right? So, I don't have a girlfriend. Um, but my, most of my friends do now, right? They're getting to those serious parts of their lives where uh, they're like with a significant other and they're whatever, you know, <laughs> trying to make things serious. And hopefully all the best to them and their significant others, but they're all doing kind of their own thing. So it leaves the single guys out or girls. So let me know if you're single and if you're going to that same thing. Cause me and my single friends or boys are planning on doing our own thing because like we're, we're fucking getting old, eh? We're getting old, so like that's why like, this shit's now just gonna be dividing. You know, that's reality. But um, well, I think we have a pickle in her ass. Like, <laughs> what? Uh, well, you know what I'm saying. Like, it's just it's yeah, just tough. Of course, like, it's hard. Everyone's schedule. As you get older, your schedules are different. Priorities your life change. is different. Priorities change for sure. And if you're dating, time is old, like obviously fucking gaining on us as well, right? So if when you're in a relationship, fucking five years deep, then you know. And it depends, fuck, I'm gonna fucking go deep on this, but never mind. Okay, so anyways, New Year's is coming, you know, so what are your plans? My plans, honestly, I plan on maybe getting like a nice little sweet cottage or somewhere where I can have a, a decent amount of friends and we celebrate together. That is my ideal New Year's. If not, I'll, if all goes to shit, then I'll spend it with my family because they are next in line. I'm just kidding. But yeah, it's true, you know, so that's that. Um, is that probably the same for you or what? It's probably the same. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's New Year's isn't that complicated. You fucking, <sighs> you kind of semi-party and hopefully that party happens this year. Um, and that's about it, you know? Are we really excited for 2021 though? 
Yeah. <laughs> Comment like, below. Are you excited? Who's really excited? I Yeah. I'm I not gonna know. lie. Uh, I'm actually very excited myself because now, like, literally, like, you can look around. I full like have a full blown place where I can create. You know. <laughs> and I've been waiting. You know, he's running over there. Go get him. Anyway, like, I've been really waiting for this. So now, like, like 2021. Like, I've been starting to post, post, post. But now it's gonna be like accumulated. I'm gonna be snapping now. There's gonna be a lot of these videos, a lot of my posts on YouTube, a lot of photos, a lot of shooting, a lot of shooting. It's gonna be fucking exciting. And I'm not, that's why I'm excited. I'm not excited to what like all this lock start, lock start, lockdown bullshit has to, has to offer. Yeah, that's what I mean. That pisses me off. But I'm gonna be optimistic and say I'm gonna control what I can of 2021 and make it the best year that I can, given the circumstances, of course. Um, okay, so the next thing, New Year's kiss, the hype behind it. Okay. Um, to be honest, it's overrated. Have you, have you ever been single for New Year's? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um, fun fact about me, guys. I'm just um, trying to think myself. Though. Yeah. Fun fact about me, um, I've actually been in relationships longer than I've been single. Take that one. First year was like three and a half, and then yeah. the second one was four years, and then my latest one was a year and a half. So guys, like your boy, don't get me wrong, yo, like you know, bloody, oh my god, he's a fuck boy. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Whatever you want to think, but honestly, I do. I'm a relationship kind of guy, actually, over being single. Believe it or not. So yeah, I've actually been in relationships most New Year's, and they've been fucking phenomenal. But last year, I've been single. I forgot what I did. We were at Nico's Reds. Oh yeah. Remember? Downtown. Uh huh. And then we went to the. That after party was wild, bro. Yeah, I don't know if I can say whose party it was, but yeah, yeah, it was lit. If you're watching this, bro, you know it was your after party. You did, I love you. Um, okay, yeah. So this year I'm gonna be single, um, and that's about it. It's I'm gonna be partying with my single boys. Kind of sucks though. Not really. Oh, no. no, not really. But well, like because of COVID cause of or COVID. being single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well, yeah, like, buddy. Everything sucks because of the COVID right now. But we're gonna make the best of it. Me, Matthias, and Hobie, hopefully. Um, okay, so next. Okay, so the hype behind the New Year's kiss, guys. I'll go first. Um, the hype behind it, I think, is absolute bullshit. <laughs> it's it's overrated. <laughs> but if you're in a relationship, it's not. If you're single, it's bullshit. Okay. Like honestly, someone like me, like I talk with a bunch of people. Like I'm very outgoing. If I if I want to party and I want to kiss that girl, I'm gonna fucking kiss that girl. You don't you know need to saying? wait till midnight to do it. Yeah. <laughs> or I don't need to ask for permission. No, I'm joking. Um, you always have to. It has to be consensual. Okay. You have to have consent. I'm just joking. But then sometimes girls are just like, I wish you would just grab me and kiss me. Yeah. But and then you're like, you don't look at me all anymore. night. You know, girls will be like, oh my god, why didn't you fucking come and kiss me? I didn't know. Well, buddy, you've been fucking talking to fucking Jeff the whole night, you know? I don't know. Girls are fucked. Bipolar. Billy and Bob over there. Yeah, Billy and fucking <laughs> Jimmy and the whole fucking football team, but your buddy here is playing chess and come on. No. Um, so a fun fact with grabbing and taking what's yours or what's not yours. Um, a fun fact, I actually... A girl attacked me on my first relationship. Uh, some girl came in and fucking jumped on me and kissed me, and my girlfriend wasn't Did at that party. Actually? Yeah, so I technically. She was at the party? No, my girlfriend was not there. Oh. And I, I told first her. First New Year's as a couple, and you and spend it together? Yeah, I don't know. Ma no, no. Uh, well, you know what? That's true, actually. That's I, don't know a why. Bad <laughs> I don't know. I gotta look back in the archives when, as to why. No, but I don't know. I think she just. probably pissed me. you off that morning. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But, anyways. <laughs> I don't even know if I can put this in now. But some girl technically kissed me while I had a girlfriend on a New Year's party. This was like fucking when I was 19. But uh, yeah, so technically, I don't know. Technically, I cheated. I don't know. But uh, I did tell her right away. And we got through it. It was a little rocky, let me tell you. But we got through it. So it is what it is. Tell me, guys, if that's cheating. I say yes, it is. If someone's kissing me. Okay. Or did if you're she kissing, come out of nowhere and yeah. kiss you and be like, ugh? Yeah. Or was it yeah. like, hey, slowly going yeah, no, in no, and then no, 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 you're like, like, hi, boo. It was, uh, it was like, happy new. Right? Everyone was da da da. And I'm looking around. So some people are kissing, some people are not. I'm just talking to my boy. I'm like, happy new year. I'm just like mm -hmm. hugging everyone. And as I, I finished hugging my boy, this girl comes like, happy new year. She grabbed me and went, ah. And she moved on. I'm like, okay, oh my God. A pack. It was a peck. But yo, still, like me, if someone did that to my girl, I'm like, yo, what the fuck, bro? Like, you know? But nowadays, like, I'm a total different person. Literally, the last year or two, ever since my last girlfriend, bro, total different person. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah bro, like, it, it was crazy. Total different person, man. Like, you'd be surprised. Like, bro, shit changes. What about you? What's the hype about? <laughs> I don't think there's no hype about it. I just think it's uh, it's just a regular fucking kiss. What's I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well. What's the hype about Valentine's Day or? Yeah, you should always treat Mother's Day, like Father's that. Day. It's it's those kinds. It's true. The kiss is more like dramatic effect for. Yeah. Like movies and. Yeah, it's like the mistletoe bullshit for Christmas. Like, like yeah. Like, what? Are you gonna go kiss because of the fucking cherry bush up there, bud? <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> the cherry know, balls dangling above your head. Cherry balls dangling above your head, you know what I'm saying? A little, little scruff under it. Well, thanks for watching Sit Down with Mitch, featuring my guest Rosanna, a wonderful friend from high school. Um, comment below any questions you may have for the next episode or answering some questions, uh, you know, tonight. Make sure you comment below. And uh, thanks for watching, you know, um, th this segment of The Life of Mitch. Okay, if you haven't already, guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel on YouTube. I am Mitch TV. I need the fucking subscribers, like I said in the beginning. It would mean a lot. And uh, Comment, like, share, subscribe. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Exactly. Thank you so much, guys. And I think that's going to be it for tonight. Thanks for watching. Take care.